Good evening guys. This is Dr. Paul once again. Thank you for visiting my website and uh, watching this video. Tonight I want to take a few minutes to discuss hypotrichrosidemia. Hypotrichrosidemia is basically the high levels of triglycerides in the blood. As always, you can visit our website at www.usmlvideos.net that is www.usmlvideos.net where we have posted so many videos. In fact, the lipid lowering drugs were discussed in detail. So take some time to visit our website tonight. Well, so let us see tonight about how we can treat hypertrichrosidemia. Now, obesity became such a major problem, especially in Western countries, but industrialization is uh, going at such an uh, intense phase, in, even in countries like China and India. People's eating habits are changing. And uh, the fat content in the foods is slowly rising. That's why obesity is becoming a big problem all over the world. So, as physicians, we should know well what medications should use in these patients. Now, whenever we think about lipids, the first thing that comes into mind is hmg coa reductase inhibitors or statins. That is good, but we need to think about lipids in three different categories, LDL, HDL and triglycerides. Some drugs are effective in reducing LDL and they are effective in increasing HDL but they may not have any effectiveness when it comes to triglycerides. So in patients who have high triglycerides it is very important to treat them to reduce those triglyceride levels. Now, for example, a patient has a very high triglyceride levels. How are you going to treat him? We need to think about in gradual steps. HMG coa reductase inhibitors are very good when it comes to reducing LDL, low density lipoproteins. They also increase HDL, but they may not have much effectiveness to reduce triglycerides. I am not stating it as a blanket statement because some potent triglycerides, sorry, some very potent HMG coerectase inhibitors like atarvastatin or rosuvastatin, they are very useful in decreasing LDL levels as well as lowering triglyceride levels. So HMG coerectase inhibitors very potent are good but the best medications are fibrates or nicotinic acid. So fibric acid derivatives and nicotinic acid derivatives they are best when it comes to reducing triglycerides. But they also comes with a price. For example, in patients who are uh, diabetes, who have diabetes and in whom you have to control their glucose levels very carefully, in those patients, nicotinic acid is actually, it worsens the glycemic control. And you need a very intense glycemic control when you take niacin. So that's a very important point. Now phenofibrate, if you want to reduce triglycerides and LDL and patient is on LDL, he is on uh, taking a statin and you want to add another agent to reduce triglycerides and fibric acid derivatives are very good like phenofibrate because they don't increase statin levels. 
So combined therapy with phenofibrate and a statin is very useful when the patient has both LDL and a triglyceride problem. That's a, a very important point. And finally, bile acid sequestants. Bile acid sequestants. Can you use them to reduce triglyceride levels? No. Absolutely no. If you put that answer, I mean, that's very, very stupid answer because bile acid sequestrants, they increase triglyceride levels because they increase VLDL synthesis. That's why never choose bile acid sequestrants as your answer to reduce hypertriglyceridemia. So they don't have any, any effectiveness in this problem. So the best medications for hypertriglyceridemia, for example, when patient has hyperfamilial hypertriglyceridemia, the best medication is always uh, gemfibrogel or niacin because gemfibrogel, it decreases triglyceride levels by as much as 70%. So let us go one by one now about uh, these basic medications we are using. First drug class, like uh, let's go like this, LDL, HDL, triglycerides, bile acid sequestrants. Bile acid sequestrants, they are good when it comes to LDL. Reduce LDL, bile acid sequestrants are good. To increase HDL, not much. For triglycerides, no, never. Don't start them, they are useless. And nicotinic acid, they reduce LDL, they increase HDL, and they decrease triglycerides very much. So nicotinic acid is very good drug. Then hmg coa reductase inhibitors, that's the best class. They decrease LDL, increase HDL, decrease triglyceridemia. Then gem fibrogel, they decrease LDL, increase HDL, and they intensely decrease triglycerides. Then phenofibrates, same thing. They decrease LDL, increase HDL, and decrease triglycerides. Cholesterol absorption inhibitors, they decrease LDL. They have no effect whatsoever in increasing HDL or decreasing triglycerides. So those are very, very important points when it comes to um, hypertriglyceridemia. As I said earlier, these medications are very, very useful when you think about uh, uh, preventing such complex disorders like uh, coronary artery disease or stroke because in the Western world particularly, today the most important uh, uh, diseases are heart disease and stroke. So it's very important that physicians have a clear grasp of these medications. As always, this is Dr. Paul serving humanity through medical education. Visit our website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net. You can actually subscribe for our daily videos that is USMLE video of the day when you subscribe on our website. Thank you. Have a good day.